Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use the Vendor Credit Memo window to enter credits that you receive from vendors for broken merchandise, vendor discounts, and other types of vendor credits that you are given. To do this, select Tasks from the menu bar, and then choose the Vendor Credit Memos command. This will bring up the Vendor Credit Memo window. At the top of the window, you can select the vendor ID of the vendor used for this transaction. The name, terms, and remit to fields will fill in based on your selection. Then you can enter the credit number from the vendor's credit memo. You can then select the accounts payable account that this purchase will debit by using the AP account field. Once you select an invoice to apply the credit to, this field won't be available as it will use the account associated with the invoice. You can also enter an optional return authorization to the field with the same name. Now if you select a vendor with no open invoices, then the Apply to Purchases tab will appear at the bottom of this window. And this tab is used to enter credits that won't be applied to an existing invoice. You can enter in returned inventory items using the fields on this tab, or you can simply enter an amount into the amount field. If you did select a vendor that has open invoices, then the Apply to Invoices tab will instead appear at the bottom of the screen. Here you can select the appropriate invoice to credit and also specify the number of returned items, their price, etc. So here you would enter in the number of items to return from the invoice in the Returned column for the items that you are returning. Once again, just click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the window to save and close the credit memo when you're finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.